Good morning. How y'all doing today? This is Kay. Happy Friday morning. Sitting in here glancing at the TV. Looking at the news on salad. Just waking up. Got my first cup. Good morning. Good morning. Sitting here looking over the daily bread. It's going to be coming out of First Peter this morning. Getting ready for work. I had to wash my clothes over. I left them in the washing machine overnight. So, you know, it kind of, they might get sour. So, I had to redo them. And then throw them in the dryer. But other than that, just getting ready for work, y'all. I might go lay back down. Ooh, I, I was sleeping good. Feel good this morning, but mm, 5 a.m. came quick. Just put it like that. All right, this is coming out of 1 Peter 3 and 15. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts. And be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks if you are reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Again, that's 1 Peter 3 and 15. We have to keep God first in our lives. It is the only way we can truly live as Christians. Not only are we to do that, but we have to know why we are, why we have chosen to follow God. This life isn't a life of blind faith. We should be ready to defend our faith to anyone who challenges it. We should also be ready to explain to anyone who inquires of our faith in hopes that they will be inspired to receive salvation too. Dear God, I pray that no distraction will ever win my attention. Lord, I choose to keep you as first in my heart and nothing else. Lord, if, I, if anyone ever comes my way to ask of my faith in you, I ask that you help me to speak so that my words will rouse conviction within them, and they will turn to you and become saved. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. A debt can never fully repay. That's a story about David Jacobs. Now let's hit the quiz. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and be ready always to give the answer to any man that asks if you're a reason of the hope that is in you. With meekness and fear. Your choices are Malachi, Galatians, Exodus, or 1 Peter. And 1 Peter it is. I'm grinning because, honey. Remember when I used to tell y'all how me and this one guy at work that I used to work with at the other job? I could see his face. He did not believe in Jesus. And I used to tell him, I used to try to show him. I'm always singing gospel songs and stuff, you know, trying to encourage him. But I just felt like he knew. He just didn't want to accept the rules and regulations and and some certain things that he did not want to give up. I, I don't know. I just had a feeling he, he knew Jesus. He knew Jesus. He was too smart and he knew some, you know, he knew certain things he would ask me a story about Cain and Abel one time and I did my best to explain it that they were brothers that fought and I you know it's little things we, we got to be prepared that's why Miss Kay's trying to study so when people do ask us questions I think they do it because they already know they just want to see what you know since you claim to be a Christian out loud trust me the devil knows the Bible and he may know the Bible better than some of us. So all I can say to that is just be ready. I mean, if you got to practice scriptures and read them over and over again like I'm doing right now, do that. Because like I say, the, the hardest, okay, the people I know that study the hardest that I've seen in all religions, Christian walks and stuff is those Jehovah Witnesses, honey. Now, they know the Bible. They will study the Bible. And one thing I can say, some of them don't believe certain things, and they do certain things. They don't celebrate this. They don't celebrate that. But they know that Bible, and they know what to avoid. That's just the thing. Once somebody planted in their head and showed them in the Bible, I believe that gives them that question. They believe, but they still in that religion. That's why I believe some Jehovah Witnesses, y'all, they got to be going to heaven because they know the Bible and they live a, some of them live a good life. I'm not going to knock them all. We can't really knock nobody. That's how I say, as long as you trust in the Lord, 
you trust in the Lord and you follow his commandments and you live a right life, I just know the Lord is going to have mercy. And some people that's going to be saved and they're going to be raptured up. So, with that being said, just study. Study the Bible because there's some interesting stories in there. And I've really been enjoying my little study. And I hope I'm pleasing to God. Like I said, I ain't trying to please nobody on this earth, but I'm nobody on this earth, period. I'm just trying to do what pleases God. Now, y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. And... Happy Friday. Miss K gonna go so I can finish my coffee and start getting ready for work. Just marinating, y'all. I may do the bus ride today. You know, let the phone charge up and K out of work today. So we can chat, okay? Hope you enjoyed the daily bread. Later, guys.